Hey guys, how's it going? Tamim here from Headhunter Supplements. Welcome now to our sixth official podcast interview series where we not only talk about supplements, but consider health as a holistic approach. So you guys can dominate in whichever path you choose and actually reach your peak performance, which is what we're here to do. So guys, as always, if you found value in this video um, interview series, uh, please do me a solid, give it a like, give it a share, because I'm sure there'll be so many people that will benefit uh, from the content in this video. So guys, let's get straight into it. I have an extremely, extremely special guest with us today. You've probably seen him around on the gram, doing what he does best. He's a good friend of mine, a biohacker enthusiast, and the founder of Nuclear Juice. Please make welcome everyone. Mr. Toby Yo, how's it going, man? Hey, bros. Good, man. Yourself? Yeah, pretty good, bro. We're in quite crazy times, but you just got to be optimistic and, and keep hustling, keep grinding, and, and keep staying healthy. Um, but yeah, thanks for asking, man. Appreciate it. Good to see you. And thanks for taking the time to be on, bro. I know you're quite busy um, being operator of nuclear juice and all that kind of stuff, doing heaps of stuff, but really appreciate it, man. No worries, man. Always excited to talk about fucking biohacking, man. Love this. Yeah, bros. Yeah, I'm keen to get into it. Um, so, guys, just a background about Toby. He's a biohacking enthusiast. We're going to talk about that in the podcast. He's got some awesome, awesome techniques to kind of elevate your peak performance. Is that is that right, Toby? Is that what we're going to be talking yeah. about today? Yeah, self-optimization, yeah. making yourself as healthy as possible so you can get as much done, feel good, fucking like the entire holistic lifestyle. That's it. That's what we're um, here to do. So guys, specifically, just to break it down, um, so we're going to talk about biohacking in the fundamentals. If you haven't heard about biohacking, Toby's the best to discuss that with you. Um, a biohacker's diet and supplementation regime uh, on a daily basis. So you guys can get like an insight into what uh, it actually um, involves. Um, sleep hacks. And then we're going to delve into Toby's uh, top three biohacks that he recommends. Sound good, Toby? Sounds good, man. Yeah, let's awesome, bro. Yeah, super keen. All right, bro, let's get straight into it, bro. First question. So, man, for people, I'm sure most of the people um, listening don't know what biohacking is. So, as an enthusiast yourself, how would you define it? And what would you say the fundamentals are to biohacking? Hmm. Yeah, so for me, biohacking means like doing the shit that you can do just to optimize your performance, optimize your health. And overall, just have the best lifestyle in like every aspect. So it's not like just diet. It's not just supplementation. It's everything. It's you got sleep, you have relationships, you have like grounding, you got the whole holistic package. So you're doing everything so that you can pretty much reach your peak human, human existence and uh, reach your potential. Yeah, through hacking your environment, hacking your body. And yeah, it's just doing everything you can. Right, right. That sounds good, Toby. So pretty much what you're saying is kind of, manipulating your internal and external factors so you can reach your peak performance whatever that is um yeah yeah sounds good bro sounds good yeah. um so bro if you can if you can be so kind man just to take us through like a typical day of a biohacker because i know you do a lot of stuff man i'm sure most mm -hmm. of my audience follow you um yeah man, so what's a typical day for you like let's start from the morning and just give us your your top things that you do in the day and just walk us through all right, fuck yeah, man. This this is pretty full on, bro. I'll give yeah, you the cool. full the full biohacker day. Yeah, cool, man. Keen. <laughs> so it starts with uh, yeah. I will try to wake up naturally uh, with the sunrise. Right. And um, yep. as, as soon as I wake up, I'm going to be getting um, I'm doing this tongue scraping straight away. So I do some tongue scraping. I That's just that, yeah. to get all the bacteria that you build up overnight out of your mouth and your tongue. Yeah. And then I'm going to do oil pulling. What are you getting off your tongue, sorry? Yeah, so overnight, all the, all the bacteria and like dead shit just kind of detoxifies and comes out of your mouth. Right, 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 right. But if I wake up in the morning and I instantly like get a glass of water and drink, you're pretty much putting all that shit your body's trying to detox back into your system and your body's uh, going to work hard to detox again. Okay, makes sense. So like, number one, I'm going to tongue scrape and that takes like 10 seconds. And straight after that, I'm going to do oil pulling. I use, um, yeah, organic, uh, cold pressed, uh, coconut oil, tablespoon yep. straight into the mouth. 
and you're just swishing that around for like three or four minutes. And that's very, very similar to tongue scraping. You're just extracting like all the bacteria, all the pluck and all that shit out of your mouth. Right. And right. Uh, while I'm rinsing my mouth, I'm going to get outside in my garden. The sun will be coming up. So I'll like, take off my shoes, take off my clothes, earth myself in the grass, stare directly at the sun while it's rising. And yeah. I would recommend like if people are going to do this, just be a bit careful with it. Uh, you got to be a bit, you got to be smart. So you, you stare at the sun, but you don't want to be directly staring at it. You want to kind of squint a little bit. Yeah. And that's just like getting sun first thing on your morning, all over your body, into your eyes. It signifies that your day started and it resets your circadian rhythm. Yeah. I read that as well, Toby, in like a Dave Asprey book. You may, you may have read it. It's a, he, he mentions that as well, but he does it to, um, it kind of charges your mitochondria in your eye. Cause I think the mitochondria that are the, energy kind of producing cells they're the most highest density in the eye so when you do yeah. expose your light um direct light into your eyes it kind of recharges the mitochondria and says let's go let's do it but Toby, how about if there's yeah. no sun because i know in sydney here it's kind of overcast yeah. is does it still work as in like there is still the uv light can, can that still work in um it's still a bit, man it's not as effective but like the main part is getting outside getting your shoes off because you're, you're pretty much yeah. recharging yourself from the earth, just getting rid of all the positive ions you built up overnight and yeah, cool. yeah just becoming more stable. All right, sounds good, man. And then, yeah, while I'm out there, I'm doing the coconut oil pulling, so I'm saving time. And I'll also start doing my uh, bioenergetics routines. Yeah. So that's just quickly like just warming up the body for the day. So that's um, leaning backwards, breathing in deep. Then I'm doing like a bit of shaking, a bit of soul tapping. So you're tapping your entire body to wake up the lymphatic system. Right, right. And yeah, this is all like, it sounds like a lot of stuff, but all this is done like in the first 10 minutes of waking up. And it's worth yeah, so it's like right. jumping around. Yeah. Like you're only taking how much, 10 minutes of your day and it can actually like increase your performance throughout the day. So it's, it's worth taking that 10 minutes. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah like the amount of serotonin you produce from that. It's like you wake up, your body will stop producing the milk, melatonin and because you're outdoors getting the sun telling your body it's daytime you start yeah. you're going to start producing serotonin which is what your body needs to like feel good yeah. get a function and yeah it's it's one of the most like important important like hormones for your body yeah nice no, sounds good man and then after that toby i've seen that you do do intermediate fasting right and then so you just go on with your day and then you'll break your yeah. fast around midday right with a with a yeah good midday yeah, I'll usually, come in, I'll usually come in and I'll drink a glass of just warm water. And the water that I try to drink is um, alkaline water and it's structured as well and hydrogen-rich water as well. So it's probably like the best water in the world you can get. Wow. Nice. And that's just like awesome because structured water, it works for your body really well because we're made of water. And um, the hydrogen, it's actually a rich antioxidant. So hydrogen-rich water will improve, improve your performance and alkaline just alkalizes your body. And right. alkaline waters, yeah, healthy. Yeah, cool. And I do, I have seen in your in your stories on Instagram, Toby, that you do invest in your structured water system, as in you have like a little, uh, what's what's the word, a little dome that has like crystals and stuff inside. Is that what you're yeah. talking about? Yeah, it's the urn, man. Yeah, it's so got it's shilled... Yeah, what were you about to say? Yeah, it's an urn. I put um crystals in there. It's got magnesium beads. Wow. Um, Shungat and um, clear quartz. Cool, man. Um, so where can someone get that from? Is that like on eBay or Amazon or you have to go to a specific... Um, yeah, there's a guy that makes them himself and he's, he sells them. He's just in Australia. Oh, right. And yeah, I'll send, I'll send you a link for that, man. And then you yeah. can let people know. It's yeah, kind of like... Mm. Yeah, I'll put the link down below. Um, people can get access to it and i do read i do um i'm going off tangent because i'm really interested about this water thing toby you do you do recharge the the, the crystals right you put them out in the sun and you charge them up uh, and then you... yeah so the crystals most crystals get recharged in the moonlight yeah but the the shungite uh that one gets charged in the sun well wow. that's probably the only Crazy. Way charge yeah okay cool man all right so uh so you'll break your fast get your water in and then what's what's for the rest of the day man what's your diet like oh yeah so i haven't broken my fast yet yeah oh right right yep. 
yeah and then um at the moment what i'm doing is like it doesn't break the fast but i have um another glass of warm water with uh cold pressed aloe vera juice and um right raw honey and what else do i have and apple cider vinegar cool so like technically that that will break your fast but it's such a minuscule amount of calories that's not going to do anything really and it's got more benefits than harms so yeah okay is that just for your like probiotic intake for the day and just um to get that good microbiome going yeah it's, yeah it gets gets the gut, gut microbiome help firing um it's like supercharges your immune system and um metabolism and it's just good for digestion overall cool man sounds good and like usually from that like the best thing is the healthiest thing is you should be taking a huge shit every single morning <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that's that's a sign of like a healthy digestive system between the time of 6 a.m and 8 a.m you should be like really fucking detoxifying doing a huge jump dump man yeah and yeah that's what i would do oh like i've been going in my garden recently i dig a hole and like you squat in the prong position because you don't yeah. want to be seated on a toilet hole because your colon is like this if you're sitting yeah. down as opposed to like perfect fucking lying down if you're squatting mm. in the position yeah it's much better for the system right by doing that yeah but yeah I have, I have, yeah i have to try doing dumps in the morning because i just find it inconvenient at 6 a.m like the last thing i want to do is chuck a dump but i guess yeah like, it's good for detoxing right and yeah that's the time to do it yeah sounds good man what else man what else is on the checklist well i'll show you something really cool right now if the sun's not out um this is what i'll use this red yeah. light which is the infrared wow. and near and far red <laughs> fucking powerful man wow that's cool man and yeah this is by emr i'll, I'll tuck you a link for this one as well man so that it's imitates the same thing as the sunlight right it just recharges your uh, mitochondria resets your circadian mm -hmm. rhythm for sleep um yeah yeah you're getting all the good stuff that the sun has without i guess without some of the harmful things even though i, I love the sun i don't think it's harmful at all but yeah. some people get burnt yeah yeah you're right man yeah you're right i love the sun man i'm always out in the sun i'm like you i just feel more energetic in the sun man like i just feel like the days where it's kind of gloomy no sun i just feel like shit you get the same yeah. you get the same as well 100 percent, man yeah and a nice sunny day i like to go out um do some grounding look into the sun uh do some appreciation mm. as well i feel appreciation really boosts my mood just saying thank you for the yeah. small things um yeah man that's what i do that's awesome man cool man hey toby just one more thing about your diet a biohacking routine so what kind of diet do you follow man is it i've noticed that you don't really what's your diet like man what yeah so performance do you think? yeah i used to do a omad diet which is a one meal a day diet yeah and i'm not doing that at the moment because i've been training up yeah all good yeah sorry, yeah so I'll, I'll tell you about the diet yeah at the moment it's just purely whole foods yeah so that means i'm eating um i'm usually breaking my fast with a cold pressed juice and then i'm gonna have some fruits wait a little bit and then i'll have um yeah a big like a big serving of vegetables some cool. sweet potatoes and then maybe some like eggs or some like organic yeah organic grass-fed steak or something like that nice and like, yeah, at the moment i'm pretty much eating everything but whole it, but it's got to be like nutrient dense lots of whole foods yeah. and yeah just as much like natural things as possible no no packet stuff no refined yeah. carbs oh, no vegetable cool. oils. Yeah, yeah i think that's the best man just getting all those antioxidants in from your veggies from your fruits and avoiding mm -hmm. those refined carbs because i we do eat them i have to admit i'm not the most healthiest i actually try to be strive to be healthy but i do eat my refined carbs sorry guys i'm just gonna wipe my nose a bit i don't have the coronavirus just, uh, <laughs> bit of a sniffle <laughs> yeah. um yeah. yeah just avoid because you just feel like shit after um it's not really good for performance definitely not mm. it's good for calories but not for performance so yeah. that's good man so you have a quite healthy diet um low in refined foods uh high mm. in antioxidants high in vegetables and, all, and whole food yeah. so that's that's awesome bro all right toby thanks man thanks for the insight bro let's move on to the yep. the third question out of the four so guys we before we started this podcast toby and i had a discussion about how 
um, sleep deprived we, we are just happened to be a coincidence from the last night. I just w wasn't able to sleep for some reason. I don't know what it was, but this is a perfect uh, time to discuss your sleep hacks, Toby. So what would you say your kind of fundamental mm. sleep hacks are? I'll tell you, I'll actually, you can explain and I'll give you a bit of my insight as well. Yeah. All right. So I'll say one of them that I do is once the sun is set, I will put on, put in these bad boys. <laughs> the blue light blockers. Cool, man. Looking good. And yeah, I, like, because like there's so much artificial light going on, you need this yeah. shit because uh, if you've got blue light going into your retinas, man, it's going to trick you that it's still daytime and you're not yeah. going to be able to produce any melatonin from sleep. Oh, definitely. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, red light, uh, blue light blockers, right? Yeah. Yep. Blue light blockers. And then again, I will, if I have to be in my home, I will light my, I'm, I'm going to be lighting my house with the red light as well. Okay. So I'm using red light to pretty much light my whole house. Right, right. And, and no artificial light, right? No, that's the concept. No artificial, no artificial light. light. Yep. And it's a big one. When I'm lying in bed, before I sleep, I will always do around breath work. So what I've been doing recently is the four, seven, eight breathing. And that's really, really simple. That's just in through the nose, hold for seven seconds, and then out through the mouth for eight seconds. Okay. Right. I would do about seven or eight rounds of that before I sleep. Okay. Just close your eyes, lie in bed, and then in through the nose. Hold for seven. And then out through the mouth for eight. Wow. So and then you, you just do that. Yeah. So what's that called, Toby? The eight, eight, or uh, four, 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 seven, eight breathing. Four, seven, eight breathing. That's just to relax you, right? Put your, your, just settle you down, right? Mm, you go parasympathetic when you do that. Okay. All right. Sounds good, man. All right. So you got yep. the uh, blue, blue light blockers. You got your breathing. Mm. Anything else, bro, you want to talk about? Yeah. I'm usually. I'm usually also, because I make these, uh, it's an Epsom salt and essential Ooh. oil spray. Wow. Because I have got magnesium, so I'll just spray that, like, because I hit the gym during the day. So I'll nice. just spray that, like, all over my body, and then rub it in. Magnesium helps you sleep, and it's got lavender oil as well. Oh. So like, the lavender is really, really calming, and I put some frankincense in there as well. So it's oh. fucking holistic, man. That's awesome, man. Um, so that's, yeah, that's obviously got everything in it that helps you sleep, and just diffuses through the skin, and it just... Yeah, you obviously yeah. You inhale it as well. Um, you can't, you yeah. can't, can, can you consume it as in like in your mouth? Uh, yeah, you can actually because the oils that, the oils that we use are the fucking best. Like you can actually ingest them. I sometimes drink yeah. it. Lab, yeah, it's a drop it too. Wow. Well, I might like, get some. Now, like, <laughs> yeah, it's good shit, man. It just tastes like lavender, right? That's awesome, man. I might get some off you because yeah. I'm the same, Toby. Um, I don't have the... The essential oils like you but i do i did used to take um lavender as in a herb uh, the herbal mm. supplement i took i took magnesium um and all that stuff i used to take ashwagandha as well before sleep but now it's just magnesium um i also try to avoid caffeine after 2 p.m um yeah nice i am that's a good one i've, I've read in the book and also i am trying to minimize my blue light but you know you know i mean you're always on your phone watching youtube videos and Maybe that's why I'm not sleeping. And I think a lot ma a major one, Toby, is that uh, keeping your environment clean because you don't want to be sleeping in a in a dirty environment full of mold, full of dust, and just being aware of that. Because my my room is quite cluttered right now, so I just need to invest some time mm. into cleaning it and um, getting a good and sanitizing it just to get a good um, hygienic sleep. Maybe that will improve the quality. Yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, there you go, guys. I'll I'll summarize summarize the notes um, down below. So sorry, in the email, in show notes, so it's all good. All right, Toby, man, um, everything you've said has been awesome. Thank you. Thank you. But last question, man, if you were to give people three biohacks which are essential and they can use them straight away, which ones would you say? Mm, well, not, number one, for sure, uh, get sunlight. At, yeah. least, at least 20 minutes of sunlight every day between the time of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Yeah, with as little clothes as possible. You want to be get as much skin as you can in the sun for twenty minutes. No sunscreen, 
no sunglasses, just get out there for 20 minutes minimum. Yep, yep, sounds good. Sounds good. Right, number two, two. Yep. yeah. Number two, breath work. You want to be incorporating some kind of breath work because the breath is like the link, man. It's a missing link that we have. You want to do at least like some diaphragmatic breathing or Wim Hof breathing, yoga breathing, something like that. You want to do yeah. set aside 20 minutes and do some breathing. Okay. Yep. And that, can, that can count as meditation. That counts as meditation too. So if you set aside 20 minutes, do some breath work, that kills two birds in one stone, breathing and meditation. Okay. Cool. And then I would say number three, man, I'm all about like the natural hacks. Like these are all these ones are free to do. You want to do um, cold showers, man. Drop, oh, drop the I love cold showers. showers. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent, man. Just get in there. Like first thing in the morning when you wake up, get that cold shower, go in the ocean if you can. That's the best. Yeah, that is yeah. the best. I actually start my morning off with that every day. Like today I woke up feeling like shit and I jumped in the shower, cold shower. It just shocks your system straight away and you're ready to start the day. Yeah. And I think it also, it, there's like multiple benefits. Obviously it kind of um, wakes up, wakes you up instantly, but I think it also kind of trains your body to be in that uncomfortable position. So you can use that anywhere. Yeah. Like it just trains you mentally to get stronger and stronger. Like mm. when I first started cold showering about a couple of years ago, I was a bit scared. Like it took me like 20 seconds. Like I'll count to 20, count down from 20 to one. And then mm. I wouldn't go in, but now it's just like, I just walk in there straight away. Yeah. It actually makes you stronger. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. hundred like percent. Heaps of benefits from that. So that's awesome, right? Mm. Yeah. Cool. My, my biohack, uh, I don't know if you'll call them biohacks, but yeah, they are They're pretty much the same as you, Toby. I try to do some grounding in the morning. So I don't get that sun. Yeah. I take a lot of supplements, as, a, as you said, nootropics. Would you consider nootropics a biohack? Yeah, dude. Oh, let, let's, talk about, um, let's talk about supplements, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, if you want, man. Like, if that's what you include, because I know you take so much stuff. I actually watched your yeah, YouTube video. Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, man. So what, what do you take? What do you take? Because I see you take a lot of good stuff, man. You take your turmeric, mm -hmm. your collagen, MCTs, yeah. all that kind of stuff. You take your greens. I take from a lot of stuff, man. Yeah, because... Yeah. Uh, the reason why we all, we actually all need supplements these days because we're not living in the world like it used to be. The soil's depleted, things are less nutrient yeah. dense, and we're not getting like, the phytonutrients that we used to get. So we do need fucking supplements in this world these days. Yeah, you're right. I think it's just. Yeah. So... You what were you gonna say, Toby? Yeah, and so what I've been I've been using your stuff, dude, a lot. Um, the rhodiola you sent me it was, it's dude, it's fu fucking good shit, man. I take that actually in the morning. While I'm fasted, yeah, I mix them. Yeah, yeah I'm, I've been making like a super matcha recently. I've been yeah. getting into that, so I get um organic, yeah, GMO free certified matcha powder. Yeah. I mix uh, your rhodiola in there, put the legit and coq10 in there, and some ashwagandha, and then a cool, man. bit of lion's mane, cordyceps, turkey kernel, reishi, wow. and shiitake mushroom. Wow, that's cool. all inside this, and I put some coconut milk for taste. What and then blend today? that up, man. Shake it up, and I'll yeah. slam that. Uh, coconut milk. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's just to like kind of mask the taste of everything, so it all tastes. It tastes fucking amazing, man. Yeah, wow. Mix it all together. Slam that in the morning, and dude, I'm I'm like flying for like the whole day. Well, we got to try that, eh? Um, I might get the recipe mm -hmm. off you, Toby, and share it with our guys. But um, you did put a uh, awesome YouTube video. I'm gonna share it with the guys as well, our audience. Yeah, you had like an awesome blend. You just put so much stuff in there, but it's like it covers like every aspect of health supplements. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna share that. So that's awesome. But just yeah. touch it, touching up upon my supplement biohack um, routine, I mostly I spoke to Lloyd from the Cave. Do you know Lloyd from the Cave? He's uh, he owns a store in Erskineville. He knows a lot about his nootropics and biohacking. But my two biohack kind of regime for supplement is to one increase my natural testosterone because i just yeah. feel like having more testosterone man increases motivation increases muscle mass improves mental clarity um, motivation so i get my um my zinc in there uh, magnesium creatine shilajit is also good and ashwagandha mm -hmm. um yeah. i try to have a lot of good fats um 
second is I try to reduce my stress man because I do tend to get a bit anxious, a bit stressed, especially in these days, man. So I do t incorporate a lot of adaptogens. I take a lot of L-theanine. L-theanine is really good, man. Um, yeah, that's good. Really good, man. Yeah, that's, that too. That's, that's in matcha as well, L-theanine, I believe. Um, yeah, it's really occurring, two to one ratio. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, it is, eh? Is it, it's got, oh, does it have caffeine ratio. in it? Does it have caffeine in it? Yep. Yeah, much as caffeine oh, and wow, wow. and theanine in the perfect combination, man. Wow. So I think that's probably the best thing to have then, just the matcha, because if it's a mm. if it's from a natural source, uh, it will get absorbed much better. And if it's already got yeah. that two to one ratio in it, that's perfect. Then I might get on the matcha, yeah. but I pretty much um, imitate that. But by myself, I actually mix uh, caffeine in the form of coffee with L theanine and a bit of MCT that helps with absorption. Um, so that's good, man. So yeah, how does that work? MCT? Say it again. How does the MCT work with absorption? Like if you're taking all these supplements and you yeah. take MCT with, it, how does that make your body absorb it better? Yeah, that's a good question, man. So, you know, with every supplement, especially herbals, they have a, a water soluble part and also a fat soluble part. So by incorporating the MCT, mm. you're giving your body a natural carrier to absorb the fatty components of the herb into your body. And not just yeah. that, man. MCT is really good by itself. It's good for brain energy. Um, if, if you buy a high quality one with the C8 and C10 only. Uh, but guys, uh, I'll copy that in the show notes. And also I'll give you a good, um, do you ever try to increase testosterone, Savvy? But everything you're doing pretty much does increase testosterone. But do you specifically try to... Um, yeah, man. I'm Yes, I'm like actually aiming for. It. I do, yeah. I do the red light therapy, man. Yeah. I do, uh, yeah. Tonkat Ali. Yeah. She legit. Cool. Fucking doing a lot of stuff for testosterone increase, and then of course heavy, heavy resistance training, man. So big, oh, nice. big compound movements in the gym. Cool, mm. cool. Yeah, that's perfect, man. I'll give you your inside hack. I spoke to Lucas Ayun from um, Ergogenic Health. He, he you know. Yeah. Him? Yeah, he shares some good stuff. Yeah, he's following his stuff, man. Yeah, he's, he, he actually has the best content in the industry, I think, uh, clinically. Mm. Actually, he's got a real passion. He gave me a really, really good uh, biohack for increasing tests that everyone can use. It's, it's pretty much free if you, ha if you have water. So if you ice your genital areas, area for 15 minutes yeah. per day, it actually increases testosterone. Fuck, oh, that's good, man. I'll try that, man. Yeah, I've actually tried it a few times, and you feel um like you know when you have a cold shower and you just get that energy energetic feeling it feels the same way yeah. it does so that's a good biohack to you um but so yeah. yeah man yeah so that's it all right toby man i know you're a busy man um you got to get back to running your nuclear juice company and you got a lot of events going on so bro um just want to say thank you but where can everyone find you um on social media and, and youtube yeah, personally, you can find me at, I just searched Toby Yo. My, my tag will be Toby Yo01, T O B Y Y O01. That's right. pretty much all, across all platforms. Cool. And on YouTube, yeah, it's just Toby Yo, Toby Space Yo. All right, beautiful. All right, guys, there you go. You, you heard it. Uh, let's give Toby some support. Go uh, subscribe to his channel, go view his videos. He's got some awesome biohacks he's been recording all over the world, good, some good breathing methods and um all that stuff so yeah thanks toby really appreciate your time man really appreciate you um sharing some value with our audience um it's good some good stuff man good stuff dude awesome man yeah thanks thanks for having me man and um dude we just scratched the tip of the iceberg today i'd yeah. be happy to jump on again with you and go even deeper man it'll be I've got some good stuff to share yeah sounds good yeah we can sp we can talk about this for hours but Let's get this out. Let's let's help some people um, just kind of um, get the fundamentals right, and let's see what people yeah, actually like. Yeah, and we'll get we'll dig deeper into each one, um, depending on what our audience wants. So, thanks again, Toby, bro. Um, take care of yourself in these in these crazy times, man. Um, and yeah, bro. Until next time, man. Take it easy. You too, brother. Peace, see you, bro. Out, man. Have a good one. Take it easy. Yeah, bros. <laughs>